Today is October 24th, and pastor is saying to us, praying for the sick. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Luke chapter 13, verse 16. And not not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day. In praying for the sick to get well, there are certain truths to be mindful of. Otherwise, you may pray from sun up to sundown with little or no impact. First, recognize that God wants them well. He isn't the one responsible for the sickness. Some believe God uses sickness to carry out his plan or to correct his children. That's a lie from the pit of hell. No sickness or disease is from God. Secondly, does that sick person want to be well? This will be an important question to answer. Jesus asked certain folks in the Bible who apparently were in distressing health situation the simple question, what do you want? So, it's important the person is willing and ready to get well, and that there's mutual faith. Thirdly, be in tune with the Spirit. The Holy Spirit can guide you to know whether or not a demon is responsible for that sickness or disease. That way, you're able to deal with the situation. For example, the woman that was bowed over in Luke chapter 13, Jesus showed us Satan was responsible for her infirmity. The moment Jesus cast the devil out, the woman was healed. Never be afraid of demons or evil spirits. The name of Jesus is greater than all. We cast out evil spirits with words, as Jesus did. In Matthew chapter 10 verse 8, Luke chapter 9 verse 2, and Luke chapter 10 verse 9, Jesus charged the disciples to heal the sick, and he didn't ask them to pray to him or to the Father to heal the sick. Evidently, we have authority from Jesus to heal the sick and bring health and joy to a dying world. Be bold about it. Glory to God. Please say this confession with me. I've been given the authority in the name of Jesus to heal the sick and cast out devils. I'm yielded completely to the Holy Spirit and I'm filled with the knowledge of God's will. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding, in dealing with every situation. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Luke chapter 9, verses 1 to 2, and Matthew chapter 10, verse 8 of the New International Version. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 1 to 21, and Jeremiah chapters 15 to 16. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 7, verses 20 to 31, and 2 Kings chapters 11 to 12. Reality.